what's up my beautiful butterflies it's the awakened butterfly and i'm back with another video if this is your first time coming across my channel please stay for the entire video if you enjoy the content make sure you hit that like button and the subscribe button um happy friday i hope everyone's having a um happy friday a great friday today um i wanted to come and make this video um about the seven signs of gang stalking because um guys recently i have really been going through a great deal of gang stalking um i hope everyone's taking care of themselves mentally physically and spiritually out there especially if you guys are experiencing gang stalking as much as i am at this point um it's it's very draining um it's very confusing at times even when you feel like the people that are closest to you should understand what's going on and um you know understand what you're going through that is not always the case if they're being used to be turned against you um we're going to talk about gaslighting first because we all know that that is the psychological abuse that is used by a person close to you um your family's friends co-workers like i always say you know uh employees partners etc um well gaslighting to the next power is um group stalking or gang stalking um it is sometimes called mobbing um this is where a group of people um get together and literally harass and team up on one person to try and um discredit them confuse them break them down mentally so they can control and manipulate them for whatever their reason may be everyone has a different reason for why they target certain people um today i'm going to talk about seven signs of gang stalking so if you guys are experiencing these things um there's a good chance that you are being gang stalked and i have a couple of things that i can let you guys know that can help you with these situations um number one sign is it seems that everyone around you um mysteriously is on the same page and this is highly unlikely for everyone to be on the same page because we're all different we all have our own different opinions and viewpoints on life so um especially when it's concerning you these all these people are on the same page they're all agreeing with each other when it comes to bashing you putting you down if there's something that you believe in, it's like something that you feel strongly about. It seems that everyone else is strongly against it at the same time. Uh, this is a sign of gang stalking um, because it is an intentional alignment uh, being set against you. They're intentionally aligned to turn against you at this point in time. And um, it seems like they're starting to demonstrate some type of robotic or demonic behavior um a clone type of behavior it seems that everyone is doing the same thing saying the same thing to you uh trying to make you feel that the things that they're projecting upon you is true um in 2011 there was a study that was um done on social on the influence on social circles and um, they found that we are biologically wired to concern ourselves with the higher value of other people other than ourselves. So they're saying that, you know, we were born to pretty much judge the value of someone else's life over our own. So if this is the case, this leaves the door open for gang stalking to happen naturally against someone. Um, especially in groups because um you know if you're around the same people that it's they're taking an interest into your private life rather than their own um it could cause gang stalking um research also showed that the people around us has a powerful effect on our happiness um our diet um and our overall health and i feel that this has a lot to do with the transfer of energy and you know just 
you know, we're all different and we deal with each other's energy and personalities. And sometimes they can take an effect on you, depending on the type of person you're around. Group gang stalking is done um, when they try and get you to view yourself the way they want you to view yourself. It's certain worldviews and perspectives that they want you to adopt and able to keep your mind in a certain place so they can control and manipulate you. Um, sign number two, you have an eerie, uncomfortable feeling and you don't know why. Um, anxiety and fear, it seems to naturally come out of nowhere. Um, it seems to be eating away your sanity and you're wondering if um, you're crazy, if the things that these people are saying about you are true because of the actions that you see taking place with more than one person around you. Maybe if it was one person that was saying these things, you could maybe brush them off, but when it's everyone everywhere, you start to question yourself. Um, they do this in order to try and break you down mentally so they can... Guys, you hear that? As soon as I start to make this video, you start to hear someone mowing the grass right outside of my window. But I'm going to proceed. Um... Sign number three, um, the truth doesn't add up. And this is when you're in a situation where, um, first of all, gang stalkers always twist the truth or they just flat out lie. So this is the situation where they've said, you've, you already feel a certain way and they've said to you that it's not true and they've twisted the story of the event. And you found some evidence that proves that you're right and they're not. <clears throat> this is when they start to call you crazy and start to say that there's something wrong with you and it will be more than one person saying this and if you're not careful if you don't trust yourself your gut feeling your intuition you will start to question yourself you know and start to believe everything that these people are projecting upon you uh, in group gang stalking, they will actually deny things that actually happen and replace them with new events in order to confuse you. So please be aware of that. Um, number four, you have a feeling of isolation. And this is because everyone in your circle is beginning to act the same way. They're beginning to say the same things. And the more people that's around you that are doing these things, the more that um, you feel that you're being gang stalked. And the more that you feel that you're being gang stalked, the more you isolate yourself um, due to this reason. Um, the less you trust the people around you, the smaller your circle becomes. And sometimes this can make you feel isolated. Um, because you start to feel like an outcast. You start to feel like... Um, you don't relate to anyone. You start to feel like you're not on a higher enough level to be in anyone's presence. It's just like you start to discredit yourself for no reason. Uh, number five, you start to recognize small but obvious changes um, in your environment that everyone else seems to ignore. Um, it could be things that you're going through in your life and you guys are sitting there watching TV and the things that they're saying on TV is so obvious and everyone's pretending that they didn't hear it or see it, but you do. And this again is all in an attempt to make you feel like you're going crazy. Um, and they, and these gang stalkers are also making these small changes to your environment to slowly, um, get you to adopt and believe, um, what they're saying about you is true. Um, number six, this is the repeat and delete tactic. Um, this is where the gang stalker, um, this is where they repeat and display the same behavior so much, um, to where you start to adapt to the changes and then they automatically change something in order to make a traumatic event. Like let's say for instance, you're having a crazy day. They've they've uh, planned for you to have a crazy day because they know you're trying to accomplish something, right? 
And everywhere you're going to handle business, you ask for a pen and they give you a black pen, right? Um, this was orchestrated. So now every time you see a black pen, you can relate it to uh, the unpleasant event that you had experienced that day. It doesn't have to just be with a pen. It can be with anything. Um, you may also see at that time the gang stalkers are uh, carrying around the same objects. It could be the same type of necklace, the same type of watch. Uh, they could be drinking the same type of beverage, whether it be water, tea, or coffee. It's just certain things that may seem crazy if you don't think about it that way. But if you really just pay attention to the way they plan things, you will understand you know, what's going on. And, um, number seven, um, you start to not trust yourself. And, um, this is the gang stalker's ultimate mission. They want you to not trust yourself because they want all of your dependence. Um, they want you to depend on them. They want you to rely on them. Um, they want you to put all your trust and focus onto them. Um, this is so they can break you down mentally and control you. Um, also, uh, to try and shatter your self-confidence. And the reason why they do these things is they feel that if they can break you down mentally, they can possibly get you to join some type of a cult or possible drug or sex trafficking acts or, or anything, you know, illegal or something that you're not comfortable with. Um... And, guys, I just, you know, I'm not trying to come off at a negative, as a negative person. And I know sometimes when I make these videos, I feel that a couple of people may get offended. I really don't care. I am a nice person, but at the same time, I feel that it's important for me to get these messages out. And I feel like we've been silent about this stuff for too long. And so many things have been swept under the rug that... This world is so corrupted with lies and, you know, false images and things of that nature. I'm telling the truth on my channel. This is what, this is what I do. I research and I speak on things from things that I research and things from my own personal experiences because I want to help people. And I know sometimes some people want the sugar coated version of things and they don't want to hear the truth. And it's because they're afraid. And a lot of the times when people don't want to hear the truth, it's because they pretty much already know the truth. And sometimes when you're speaking the truth and people pull away from you, it's possibly because they're part of the things that you're speaking on. So if I lose a supporter or two because I'm speaking the truth, that's fine with me. At least I look at that. I look at that as a way of the most high weeding out the ones that need to be here from the ones that don't. And it's not going to stop me from speaking my truth. And it's not going to stop me from um, delivering new content every day. Because I speak my truth not only on this camera. I speak my truth off the camera. And that's probably why I'm going through so much gang stalking from people. Because they don't want to hear the truth. And I stand up to these people. I don't care. I let them know that I know what they're doing. Because I've been going through this for so long. You know? Um... I'm now going to tell you some solutions to um, the signs that I named in order. Starting with uh, sign number one, everyone being on the same page. Like I said, this never happens. So if you um, experience something like this, start to pay attention because there's a good chance you could be being uh, gang stalked. Um, Number two, feeling uncomfortable, feeling like there's something wrong and you don't know why. If you feel like you're in that situation, listen to your gut and, and use your intuition. Excuse me. No matter what anyone says at that time, trust yourself. Especially when you feel in your heart that you know the truth. Uh, number three, um, you finding evidence that to support your claim against these people. Um, focus on the facts, no matter what. Focus on the facts. You can't go wrong uh, when dealing with these people. Facts and proof to let them know that you are fully aware of what's going on around you. Um, number four, feeling isolated or trapped. Um, reach out to someone that's not in your circle. Someone that you feel like you can trust that's not in your circle. Or even someone that um, you don't know, like maybe a helpline. Um, 
I did some research and found that you could also call a domestic violence uh, support line when you're experiencing um, individual or group gang stalking. So sometimes it's just best to reach out to someone else for some subjective clarity um, to let you know. It's like a reassurance to you. Um, number five, noticing small changes that other people ignore. Don't ignore them, guys. Track them, record them. Keep a record of everything that's going on around you. Write it down. Don't discard it. Trust yourself. Um, number six, losing self-trust. Um, if you're starting, if you get to that point, which I hope uh, any, no one is, getting to the point where you feel like you can't trust yourself because you feel like them discrediting you is outweighing your own perception of yourself. Um, pay attention to your level of self-trust. Okay, which means if, if you really trust yourself, trust yourself. And if you feel like you don't trust yourself enough, then rely back onto that intuition and, um, you know, rely on your intuition and um, never, you know, always rely on the facts. Never discredit yourself for one second. Um, no matter your present or past experiences um, with gang stalking, it's never too late to heal in order to better your life it's never too late i don't care how bad someone tries to break you down and discredit you and make you feel like you're nothing i don't care how, how much they try to take the people that you love and turn them against you and not stand strong in your truth pray to the most high god and do not give up i promise you there is light at the end of this tunnel guys do not give up and i'm not only giving this reassurance to you guys i'm also giving it to myself because I am experiencing gang stalking at this moment. Uh, I do have a couple of story times for you guys. I am experiencing it right now as we speak. That's why I wanted to get this video out so bad before the weekend because I wanted you guys to have something to watch to let you guys know that there is someone out there that's going through the same thing that you are going through. You're not crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. You are protected by the most high God and you are special and that's why these people are doing this to you because they know that you know something that a lot of people are not aware of they know that you're able to pick up on things that a lot of people are not able to pick up on and for that reason they fear you and they should fear you because you are a part of an army that they could never get close to Unless they stop doing the things that they're doing. And that's working for a lower entity. That is just only here to destroy. And we all know who that is. I'm not going to give this person or this spirit the entity by saying their name on my channel. And if I have, I won't anymore. I'm drinking beet juice, guys. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come through and make that, uh, video, this video and talk to you guys about, I just let you guys know that I understand if you are being gang stalked because it's real. It's real. Don't let anyone make you feel like anything's wrong. You trust yourself. Love yourself. Be your best, be your own best friend. And you always have God and you always have the angels. You always have your ancestors. And you always have me. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Um, I love you guys so much. Continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Uh, please like this video. Um, subscribe to my channel. Share this video. Um, all that good stuff, guys. Uh, the support is greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much. Until the next video, peace and love.